Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of cancer for September of 2019. So in this video, you're going to get the message from spirit as well as, <laughs> as, well as the um, energy healing to go along with it. Okay. Um, if you haven't been here before, please subscribe to the channel. I do have new videos coming out every week. And I also have a three-day challenge coming out. So if you're interested in raising your vibration, I have three days to a higher vibration free challenge coming out. You can join that in the description box below as well as the comments. All right. So let's see what is happening for the month of September for you guys. Really interested to see how it's all going to pan out for you. All right. So the overall energy that I'm loving is the unknown card. The unknown card, right? And a lot of people will say unknown card, like what the heck is that in a tarot deck? Well, this deck, Crystal Visions, has an unknown card. And I love this one because a lot of the times we, we need things to be known. We need to know what the hell is happening. And you don't really. It's okay to just go with the flow. So I tell my kids all the time, right? So it's like, they're always like, what are we doing next? Who's coming over? What are we doing? And what time are we doing this? We're, and I'm like, stop asking so many questions. Just go with the flow. You don't need to know everything. And the more comfortable you get with not knowing and the more comfortable you are in the unknown energy, that is when everything becomes easier. That is when life becomes enjoyable because you're not trying to figure it all out. All right, so let's see what's happening here. So in the beginning of September, you have the Sun card. You have the Three of Cups. You have the Ten of Pentacles. And then you have the Five of Wands here. So everything's going good up to that Five of Wands. So I feel as though you might have done some healing. I feel like the sun is shining. The butterfly, I'm very connected to the butterfly on this card here. So I feel as though you might be going out with friends um, really living life. I feel like things are starting, I wouldn't say change. I'm, I'm feeling like things are starting to get good. Things are starting to look up. Um, and with that 10 of pentacles, it's just like that abundance that you've wanted is, is here for you. It's actually starting to come true. So some of you, again, remember these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check out your moon and rising signs as well. But it's like you're starting, they're just showing me like you're starting to bloom. So if you've done a lot of healing, which is the sun card for me, so if you have really searched yourself, you're really trying to figure out what you want. You're trying to determine what's good and what's not good for you. And once you figure that out, I feel as though with the, three of, with the three of cups here, I feel as though it might take some people around you to open your eyes here. It might take a good friend or a teacher or a mentor to really kind of open your eyes to see what is good and what is not good for you. But obviously, ultimately, you are the decision maker on it, but those around you could potentially, so go out with friends is what I'm seeing with this three of cups. Like go out there and, and open your ears and be receptive to any kind of information that is coming. And this could even be like, not even friends, but they're showing me like, like memes, you know, like quotes, things that are really resonating with you. Like keep your eyes open to that stuff and like maybe start like writing it down and start, start to see a pattern is what I'm getting, okay? You got the Ten of Pentacles here. So things like that Ten of Pentacles, this is what everybody wants. This is the abundance. This is the money. This is the love. This is life. It is life. And you're getting there. And I'm so sorry to say this, but it is as comfortable as anything for you. It is like you, wanna, you want to kind of crawl out of your skin at this point. Because I feel as though you have always sacrificed yourself for others, for what others want of them or of you, but you've sacrificed yourself for them. And this is not comfortable for you at all to finally start feeling good. 
Maybe you're on your own. Maybe you're choosing if you're going to be on your own, however this resonates with you. Maybe you, um, you know, in work, maybe you're finally starting to be successful, but you feel like at any minute something's going to happen and drop, you know, and very conflicted, very conflicted. I feel like this is a crawling out of your skin type of energy. Towards the middle of the month, though, you have the Ace of Wands. Like, this is divinely guided for you. This isn't just like, oh, okay, this is just like the, the thing of the month. No, I feel like this, you have taken work to get here. You know, if you're watching this video, I feel as though you have done a lot of self-development or at least tried to do a lot of self-development on yourself, tried to open your eyes, having a spiritual awakening. And that's, that actually could be a spiritual awakening as well. So, you know, and it's feeling uncomfortable because what you once knew is not what you know now. And that's what this new beginning is about. You've got the eight of cups. It's walking towards something. I always say this is walking towards something, not away from something. You're coming out of the beautiful water and now you ha you're walking towards the moon here, right? You are walking towards, you have the judgment card and you have the page of swords here. You are walking towards yourself. You're walking towards the beauty to letting go of who you used to be and really sitting with who you are now and realizing how much stronger you are, realizing how much stronger you are with others as well and that you've done that. You have done that. And at the end of the month, you have the Two of Cups, you have the Page of Pentacles, you have the Four of Cups, and you have the Knight of Wands. So this is all about connection is what I'm getting as well. Peacefulness. The page of pentacles and the four of cups here. It's about giving you, yourself that chance to connect. Now the two of cups, like any type of um, connection I feel in these readings, because it is so general, I usually do it two ways. It could be a relationship, but this is also with yourself or the, or the divine or both. The two of cups is that connection, right? You're, you're walking out. You're walking towards the moon. You're walking towards your spirituality. You're walking towards your faith. And when you do that, they're just telling me, like, they're showing me actually, like, when you do that, it's like everything drops. It's like everything doesn't seem so important anymore. Everything doesn't seem like it's life or death. It's basically like you reconnect with that higher energy, that higher vibration. And it's beautiful. And it's like with the four of cups, it's like it, it, you take a moment. You take a moment to realize it and, and resonate with it and to embrace it. And with the knight of wands, you can see it's facing all of this. So it's time to deal with the uncomfortability, <laughs> being uncomfortable with all of this. Push through it. Push through it this month, the unknown card, right? Get comfortable with not knowing. Who the hell knows what all this is going to bring, but it's going to feel good. It's going to feel good. All right, so we're going to do energy healing, and I do pull a few more cards throughout this, so you want to stick around to see what other messages come out. Um, oops, sorry. Oh, totally did that. Hold on, I'm sorry. Um, and whatever, um, and if you've never done this with me, all you're going to do is just listen to some music. I'm going to connect your energy with the divine energy um, to release any blockages or trapped energy that's inside your energy field to raise your vibrations, get you happier, okay? So um, just find a comfortable space. You can either sit down or lay down. And go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And the intention I'm going to go in with this. A little bit of reducing the, the conflict here, right? Letting go of the uncomfortableness about all of this. But also to bring in the sun. To bring in the light. To see what you're fighting for. To see what you're letting go for. Um, to see that beauty and really just connect. All right, so go ahead and 
whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them go out. Here we go. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out and take another deep breath in, give your body a nice stretch and go ahead and let that out. All right. So the cards that came up, I hope that was good for you. Um, you have the three of wands. You have the Queen of Cups and you have the Empress card. Beautiful, completely beautiful. I love it. Looking towards the future, the energy, so freaking powerful, right? I just did Gemini and it was kind of like the same reading, like in just a little bit of a different way where, you know, the energy that you're going towards is so much more powerful and so much more beautiful than where you're at right now. And we keep evolving like there's no, there's at no time can you not keep moving up in vibration and in frequency. So, you know, look towards the future. Get excited about your life. Get excited about living your life the way you want to. Stop being a puppet for everybody. Stop being what everybody else wants you to be. Stop doing what people expect you to do. Do what you want to do. 
right? Be the empress, be the queen of cups, but do it with such a way. It's like such a humble way of just like having your heart chakra completely open and just living with love in your heart. And I know that sounds like so like whatever, but it's just, you can't get excited about the future if your life isn't going to change and you're not excited about how you're living it now. So something's got to change. Something's got to, you got to let go of something. It could be limited beliefs. It could be self-sabotage. It could be all of that stuff that keeps you from looking in this crystal ball and getting excited. When you finally realize that you have it within you to fight all those fears, And all that stuff that's keeping you back from what you really want to do and the life you really want to live, that's when everything changes. When you move into this Empress energy. So again, Empress. We have the Divine Empress Club if you're interested. Videos like this every single week with the energy healing just a lot longer. But when you're ready to move into this energy, that's when everything's going to change. When you make the decision to do it. And say, screw it. I am so tired of living the way that I've been living and being unhappy. I'm ready to be happy. And that's what this month is all about. It's about deciding. It's about fighting the ego here when it starts to come in and say, no, 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 no. This isn't who we are. This is not who we are. But it is. It's like your your higher self is calling you home. And your ego is saying, no, 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 no. We got to stay far away from there. It's a constant battle. And that's what you're fighting here. But the, on the other side of that is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful happiness energy. It's time to be happy. All right. I hope that resonates with you. Let me know how it resonates with you in the comments. Um, also, make sure you check out the three-day challenge coming up. It's going to start uh, September 16th. So make sure you sign up now. Um, and yeah, I, I want this for you. Like your higher self is calling you home. So get to get it, get going. Okay. <laughs> Much love to you. Give me a thumbs up. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, and you can follow me over on Facebook. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.